Penn State, our valedictorian, Caitlin Faber. They're some of the most memorable speeches, oftentimes incorporating humor with advice for entering the adult world. And a special shout out to my older brothers, Alex and Tyler, for not setting the bar too high. The sending off by the top two in the class. And together, we really can change the world. Each honoree joins others in history, including Hillary Clinton, Conan O'Brien, Weird Al, Sonia Sotomayor, Jodie Foster, and Natalie Portman, to name a few. But in early December, Cumberland Valley School Board discussed doing away with recognizing the top two, focusing on honoring more students and removing class rank from report cards. What are your thoughts on that, on getting rid of the valedictorian salutatorian as that top two tier? I think that there is a lot of merit in the argument. That's Central York High School's 2018 salutatorian, Megan Minnick. When the school I went to, the AP classes were weighted to a 4.8, honors classes were weighted to a 4.4, and then the regular class is the highest GPA you could get is a 4.0. So then art classes or business classes or those other classes that aren't weighted the same as AP classes are that still teach students really valuable skills and allow them to explore their interests can fall to the wayside if students think that taking them will hurt their GPA. One parent I spoke to says she used to obsess over her son's class rank on his report card. He was first in his class with a weighted GPA of more than 104. Now she tells me she didn't want him to take guitar class because it would affect his overall GPA, but he decided to and he dropped from that top spot down to number nine in the class. We're trying to get away from watching, having our students constantly looking and being obsessed with 101.6456. Student stress is one of the factors contributing to the Cumberland Valley's policy discussion. But the executive director of the Pennsylvania School Counselors Association says the stress of achieving good grades for college isn't what it once was. Instead, students are stressed about the process of applying to and paying for college. I think I just was more wanting to like work hard to like set myself up for the future. 2019 valedictorian of Cedar Cliff High School, Katie LaFaver, thinks valedictorians and salutatorians should be honored. The only thing it's taking away is like the reward for those students who do work hard. And school board member Matt Barrick is standing up for those students. The valedictorian and the salutatorian, this is a lifelong effort for them work-wise. You know, while officially it goes from ninth grade through 12th grade, this really the building blocks and the foundation of their learning to be number one or number two in their class started at a much younger age. Um, and they've made sacrifices along the way, as well as likely their families to help them achieve that goal. Cumberland Valley School Board is divided on the issue. The proposed policy was sent back to committee and discussed December 20th, but it has not progressed forward from that meeting.